Welcome everyone to Lovelace Academy. This is Shweta and today I will guide you on how to get your machine ready for Haskell. Before we dive into the programming of Haskell, let's learn a bit about what Haskell is. Haskell is a programming language that was conceived in 1987 and is named after Haskell Curry, who was an American mathematician. Haskell is a purely functional programming language. That is, programs in Haskell are always written as mathematical functions, which have no side effects. That's a lot of words. In simple terms, functional programming is the process of building software by composing pure functions. This will become more clear as we start our journey of learning how to code in Haskell. You must have noticed that the logo of Haskell language has the Greek letter lambda. Uh, that's because functional programming is based on lambda calculus. The most tedious task before learning a programming language is getting your dev machine ready. So I will only focus on the bare minimum tools needed to get started with Haskell. So we will need two software before starting to code Haskell. First is a Haskell compiler and second is a text editor. Um, there are many Haskell compilers in the market, but the most widely used is the GHC, the full form of GHC is Glasgow Haskell Compiler. Also, I'm assuming that we all are using Windows operating system here. If you have any other operating system, then you can visit the page of www.haskell.org slash downloads. Link is in the description. And uh, uh, fr from that link, you can follow the instructions corresponding to your operating system. All right, let's do this. So Haskell has made it very easy for us to install GHC. We just need to visit this page, haskell.org slash ghcup. Then we'll copy this command to install, install GHC on Windows. Then we'll open our PowerShell, paste this command, run it. We'll press C to continue. Hit enter to accept the default location. Press enter again, select Y, Y again, again. And now you'll see that installation will be starting in a few minutes. It has started. Now we'll wait for it to complete. Once it is done, then the screen should look similar to this. And in order to double check, we will just write GHCI and press enter to see the latest version. And as you can see, uh, the latest version has been installed and we are clear to proceed. Now coming over to the second software that we need before beginning to code on Haskell, the text editor. There are many text editors available in the market, but my favorite one is Visual Studio Code. You can get it from code.visualstudio.com slash download. Over here, you can pick the right type and install. Since I already have it on my PC, I'll just show it to you. This is how it looks like. Uh, just a small piece of advice. Uh, go to extension tab and download the Haskell plugin. Select the first option that comes after you search Haskell and then install it. So this is an error diagnostics tool that will make our life very easy in the coming days. So that's all. Um, now we have everything that we need in order to begin coding with Haskell. So enjoy your day and see you next time. Bye.